morning guys yesterday i've shared with you how i've designed and sketched the article page for the letter that lior wrote for the upcoming launch of prospero i've sent it to him his feedback was that although it's very beautiful it might not be a bit aggressive enough because the letter was really intense and the design was pretty cute anyway i'm going to try to revise the coloring and perhaps the images a little bit before I take it to Webflow and actually develop it because I really, really want to finish the development by noon. Let's see if I can do that. So I'm one hour in and I finished the kind of fixing the design of the page. Basically what I did is I removed the colors because they made it a bit too cute. And I've also found this uh, in Sketch, you can add this kind of like noise effect and it kind of gives a nice texture to the page. So it's nice. And also changed some of the images. Um, there were some things that I didn't like and Lior added another section. Uh, the images are still not high resolution. I still haven't bought the originals from Shutterstock and it will actually take me, uh, I think, a few hours to really finalize the images. So I want to delay this to later. I'm going to take this to Webflow right now because I want to put the structure in. I want to see that it actually works on the page, that it also looks good on mobile. And once I've finished the development, I'll do the refinement and just replace the images for the production. So let's take it to Webflow. Alright, so it is two hours in and I've finished building all the page in Webflow. Let me show you how it turned out. I'm pretty happy. Um, I decided for now to change the font. I'm not sure if this is the final font, but kind of looks a bit more serious, I guess. Um, as you can see, the background is kind of staying fixed, so it gives a bit of a depth feeling to it. And it turned out to lay out the images next to the text like I wanted and also make sure that the responsiveness is works fine, uh, was a bit tricky, uh, but I figured it out eventually. See, the thing is that Webflow is not like a stupid drag and drop software, so it's not like you just do the same thing that you did in Sketch and it looks wonderful. You also have to build the logic of how it will work on mobile and how it actually responds. So there's a million ways to build everything. So I had to try different things until I got the result that I wanted which is nice. I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. I still have some things that I want to improve here. I, first of all, I need to add kind of a sharing buttons. And also I want to add a little interaction and animation to make the website a bit more alive. Um, but I'm taking a lunch break right now. I'm going to meet a designer friends that I haven't seen in a while, Eden, and I'll try to, you know, push a little bit further afternoon, even though I have to pick up my son from the kindergarten pretty early. Let's see what I'll what I'll be able to do today. Right, great lunch with Eden. He's a great designer, a great product person, also making lots of cool side projects. Right now, he's actually doing poster a day on Instagram with really beautiful designs. So follow him on Instagram. Got one more hour before I have to pick up Tommy from the kindergarten and try to finish up some more stuff on the Webflow project. Alright, so I'm done creating the interactions. Let me show you how it turned out. 
So basically, I created this kind of a load interaction. So when you first arrive to the website, it's kind of like the content is actually built in. So again, you start from black and it kind of built in. And then when you scroll, the titles also appear nicely with a little fade and, and transition. And all of this is created with only four interactions here in Webflow within minutes. So I really like how this has turned out. I'm really happy with, with the page. I think it's turned out slick. Obviously, I have to redo the images, you know, buy them, high resolution, cut them properly, fix, you know, the colors and stuff like that. But I think I'll leave that uh, for tomorrow. I want to catch up on some emails before I'm heading to pick up Tommy from the kindergarten. So uh, yeah, I think that wraps it all for today. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow.